Hi guys, my name is Faye Kemi. And my name is Simi Baju. And we're the host of your favorite podcast, FNS Uncensored. And this is 10 Questions with Spice TV. I was inspired to start a podcast because I was tired of tweeting my opinions and other people telling me their own opinions as well. I really couldn't care less. And I didn't want to start a YouTube channel because I don't like being behind the camera. And I started with Simi because we're kind of best friends and we both like music and pop culture. So we're like, no, oh, it looks like right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, she's right. It's fine. Um, podcasting has grown in the sense that everybody has a podcast now and everybody thinks that their opinion is important, which is fair enough because to be honest, if you think you have something to say, you should be heard. Um, but I feel like at the time when we first started, it was a thing where you had to like work to actually build your fan base and your audio listening base. Um, so your consistency did matter because if you didn't release, then that means you wouldn't have a fan base. But now, like, everybody just makes so sits in front of the camera, puts mics there, drops their video on YouTube, and it's by uh, Yo, that is not a podcast. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, um, I would say one moment that shaped our podcasting journey or a milestone was when we got the grants from Spotify. It was very nice to get the recognition because at that point we're like, okay, we've been doing this for four years now. What's the plan? So seeing that cosign or getting that cosign rather from Spotify was very, very motivating. I think that personal style plays a role in pop culture and entertainment because the industry is very visual so um, you're approached and treated how you look so I think it's very important to look good, dress good and be well presented every time and also be comfortable, that is my own key um, be comfortable if it's, it's not comfortable, comfortable I'm not wearing it forget Fashion or style icons that I admire, I would say I really like Ryan Destiny's style because it's very simple, very like unassuming, very just like, oh yeah, she wore this basic outfit but she killed it. Mm -hmm. And I'm a fan of Anna Styles' mini skirts. I, I don't really have like the capacity <laughs> to wear mini skirts, mini skirts, but if I could, oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah, Ira. I also really yeah. like tender stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I, oh, yeah. sorry, I also have to, I don't care if people are doing, you know, not what you are. Yeah, I also jam, think Whiskey is really fresh. Whiskey is a fresh guy. Like anything Whiskey wears, ah, uh, no, ten out of ten. <laughs> and Brenda, and we're around town. We said many people. Yeah, there are a few. Yeah, a few. Yeah. But I'm not really a fashion babe, so like I wouldn't wear most of these things, but I admire them. Yeah. Okay, so for people comparing Adekunle Boo and Burner Boy, I feel like they are not the same. They don't dress the same. I feel like um, Burner Boy's style is very unique and very different in the sense that Brenna defines his style so he, he dresses in ways that nobody else would dress him like you know explores his outfit option but I feel like Arikunde Gold is just like and this is not like in a bad way but he's on the path of like okay I'm a bad boy like I'm coming to my own sexuality I'm finally discovering myself and Brenna has always been that guy so I guess maybe because maybe they have similar tastes and similar like you know references maybe that's why people think that the dress are like but it's just grills bro. i was gonna say i think it's because of the grill shot kind of like like they yeah. just both yeah. like, yeah. yeah. like that's, that's what i think i think i mean it's they're similar in the sense of dressing or style or whatever but i didn't i wouldn't see adequately i'd be like oh my god burner one or burner yeah. and i'm like oh my god it looks like like yeah let me see that a memorable interaction or experience honestly there wouldn't be one but like when i go out and like maybe a young girl comes to me she's like oh my god i really like your photos i'm like ah thanks so they're all memorable even though i don't oh said it is so i wouldn't really remember but yeah but i remember the moments i also think i really enjoyed um having a field on ykb and mm. watch on the, on the podcast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you guys should listen to them yes please <laughs> and watch <laughs> Okay, so um, I think the first rule of podcasting is be consistent. Um, you cannot build a fan base if you are not consistent. If you release an episode every six months or like two episodes every three months, I'm sorry, you're just not, not it's just not going to work out for you. Um, I think make sure that you um, engage your fans, um, put out like an email out there, let people be able to send you fan mail, let people be able to like interact with your content on social media. That's great um, to also building your following. 
Um, also, having guests on your podcast as well, because obviously they open you up to um, new audiences. And in terms of monetization, I think is is a matter of just always being ready for when you are approached. So always having your numbers ready, always having like a content that people want to listen to and watch, and you know brands can easily plug into. Yeah. Can I also add that if you want to start a podcast, you don't need a camera to start. All yeah. you need is a mic and your laptop, your laptop and you're good to go. Yeah. So don't go and be yourself thinking, oh, I don't, I don't have the camera, I don't have the studio. Just get a laptop and stay in a quiet room in wherever you do mm-hmm. and record it. Because there's a reason why they call this podcast. Thank you very much. Video card. Thank you. Balancing my podcast responsibilities with my personal and professional life has been hectic because. Um, we do everything ourselves. So she's head of operations, I would say. I'm head of social media and things like that. And like sometimes I'll be going about my day, I'm like, oh my goodness, I've no post today. <laughs> so I just set alarms to be honest to remind myself and I try and get my content ready beforehand and yeah. And we shoot every weekend, so at least we have a week to just come down and plan for the next shoot. Um, be consistent, make sure that you're having relevant conversations. Um, if you do want to start a podcast or you want to start any type of content series, just make sure that you at least can envision maybe your content for the next like six months to see what you're talking about because if it's very like flimsy and like if Twitter topics, there's not like you're not going to be able to sustain um, your conversation. So just make sure that you're having impactful conversations, you're actually thinking about the content that you're putting out there and you're intentional about it. And you're just yeah, making, making sure that you're building your brand consistently as you go along. And again, if you don't have visuals, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, period. <laughs> Hi again guys, my name is Faye Kemi And my name is Simi Bajuru And we are the host of your favourite podcast, like I said And the most consistent podcast out of Africa, to be honest FNS Onsen And this was our 10 questions with Spice TV Bye.